This episode is a microcomputer from a CSR certificate level syllabus of information technology. What is microcomputer? A microcomputer is a small, relatively inexpensive computer that uses a microprocessor as its central processing unit, CPU. It is designed for personal or small business use and typically includes a microprocessor, memory, input-output interfaces, and storage. Now the characteristics of microcomputers. The CPU of a microcomputer is a single-chip microprocessor which integrates the functions of a computer's central processing unit. Microcomputers are smaller than mainframe and mini computers, making them more suitable for personal use. It is designed to use by one person at a time. To input output of data, it includes a keyboard, mouse, monitor, and often additional peripherals like printers and scanners. It is compatible with varieties of system and application software like Windows, Mac OS, or Linux as operating system, and word processor, spreadsheets, web browser, and many other application softwares. Now the different types of microcomputers. Personal computers, PCs. It includes desktops, laptops, and workstations. Tablets and smartphones. This sort of microcomputers use microprocessors for computing tasks. Single board computers, SBCs, such as Raspberry Pi and Arduino-based systems. Embedded systems used in home appliances, medical devices, and automobiles. Gaming consoles like PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch. Now the common components used in microcomputers. Microprocessor CPU, the brain of the system, it implies Intel Core, AMD, Ryzen, memory, random access memory, temporary storage for processing tasks, storage, hard drives, solid state devices, or flash memory used as storage, input devices like keyboard, mouse, touch screen, etc., output devices are monitor, printer, speakers, etc., operating systems usually manages hardware and software, it implies Windows, Mac OS, Linux. Examples of microcomputers, IBM PC. One of the first personal computers is IBM PC, then Apple Macintosh, a widely popular personal microcomputer, Raspberry Pi, a low-cost single-board microcomputer, Arduino, it is used for DIY, do it for yourself, electronics and embedded systems. Now about the applications of microcomputers. Usually these sort of computers are being used as a home and office computing, gaming and multimedia, education and research, embedded systems. Now we shall test our learning outcomes from previous slides. What is the primary component that makes a microcomputer different from a mini computer? Option A, microprocessor. Option B, operating system. What is the primary component that makes a microcomputer different from a mini computer? Option A, microprocessor. Option B, operating system. Which one is correct answer? The correct option is microprocessor. Microprocessor makes a microcomputer different from a mini computer. Next. The brain of a microcomputer is microprocessor or RAM? Which one is correct answer? The brain of a microcomputer is microprocessor or RAM? The correct one is microprocessor. The brain of a microcomputer is microprocessor. Next one. Which of the following is an example of a microcomputer? Option A, quantum computer. Option B, Raspberry Pi. Which one is microcomputer? Quantum computer or Raspberry Pi? 
correct answer is Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi is a microcomputer. Quantum computer is not a microcomputer. Next question. The first commercially successful microcomputer was Altair 8800 or IBM PC. Which one is correct answer? The correct answer is Altair 8800 is the first commercially successful microcomputer. Next question. Which storage device is commonly used in microcomputers? Option A, SSD. Option B, optical disk. Which storage device is commonly used in microcomputers? SSD or optical disk? Which one is correct answer? The correct answer is SSD. SSD is the storage device which is commonly used in microcomputer. That's the end of this episode. Thank you very much.